All right, so we've talked about strength. We're going to talk about power now. And we talked about strength first because in order to have, um, I, I think, our, our highest capacity for power, we have to get stronger first. Mistake that a lot of people are making, every video I talk about this, mistakes people make, because again, the, the reason for doing this is I just see a lot of nonsense out there. I see a lot of fluff. I see a lot of people uh, claiming how they can get you 20, 30 yards, and they don't have any idea what they're talking about. Let's be honest. There's a lot of theories out there, um, but long drivers, if there's anything they know how to do, it's to get more distance because our livelihood depends on it. So that little diatribe aside, we're going to talk about power, okay? Strength comes first, then we can generate power from that strength. So for me, first and foremost, if I get a kid strong, okay, and then I need to pull that power out of them, we're going to go to sprinting, okay? Because sprinting is the purest form of power. And I don't need to turn you into Usain Bolt, okay? Um, but I need to get you moving more efficiently, moving faster. So we're going to be, make you become a, a better mover, okay? And we're gonna do that through head over foot movement, through the coiling core. And I teach running, I teach sprinting and movement in a WEC method fashion, okay? I'm a WEC method certified coach. So um, plenty of resources you can look up there, but very simply stated, if we're gonna summarize it in 30 minutes. I don't want you with a stable core swinging your arms this way. What I want you to do is move athletically. That means head over foot. I want you to land with your head over foot here in balance, pulse downward, and propel yourself as far as you can with every stride. And you might be thinking, well, that's obvious, or you might be thinking, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So head over to WEC method and check out coiling core head over foot training. Okay, I always have a guy get into sprinting when I need to make them more powerful, okay? Because ultimately what I need you to do in your golf swing is learn to get to fifth gear, learn to make yourself faster, learn to make yourself more powerful. The best and the easiest way I can get you to do that is by making you faster through locomotion, okay? Next, we're just gonna repeat what we did for strength. So vertical power. So we had you squatting, we had you deadlifting, we had you swinging kettlebells. We're gonna get you to keep swinging kettlebells because kettlebell training in itself is a form of power training because we're swinging that implement, okay, rapidly, and that is a power movement, okay, because we're not moving, like a squat by itself is not a power movement because we have a weight attached to us and we're moving oftentimes very slowly. A kettlebell, we're rapidly moving that and swinging that bell. That is a form of power training. Okay, if I take someone who, doesn't know how to swing a kettlebell, and I can get them to swing a kettlebell, they become more athletic immediately overnight as they learn to sequence their body correctly, to swing that bell correctly, and then they can take the tools they used in kettlebell training of how to uh, fire the, the lower body correctly and sequence using ground force from your toes up through that implement in the kettlebell, up and down the kinetic chain, and they can take that immediately over the golf swing and feel Oh, okay, I get it now. I get how to use the ground more effectively. Okay, so kettlebell training, we're gonna keep doing that. But then we're gonna add box jumps. We're gonna add um, some plyometric type movements, especially after big lifts, to get them firing faster. Okay, not very complicated. And again, this is not a comprehensive course. These are my points so that you guys can do more research on your own. Plenty of information on plyometrics, but what we're doing is just kind of these strength movements faster. And that's plyometrics, that's power. So instead of a heavy squat, I might have you do uh, squat jumps now. And that's just getting your body moving faster, generating more power. Same thing with the chopping patterns. We went over limit force elastics, we went over suspension training. So I might just have you start to do med ball slams and med ball slams from this way, bam. I'm gonna keep you doing limit force elastics in a more intense fashion now. So maybe we have a thicker band overhead and we really pull that down and we have a three second hold with everything we got in this position and then let it go, okay? Limit force elastic training is fantastic for power. It's what I do a ton because it's working the nervous system with very little tissue trauma and we talked about limit force elastics uh, back in the previous videos. And again, 
that's a WEC method uh, concept and you know training concept that I use a ton. I fell in love with limit force elastics, so look more into that, okay? Um, push training, limit force elastics, we'll use, and then I'll implement medicine balls there too. Maybe we do some explosive push-ups. But I like the med balls. Um, I like to take them kind of from this position and throw them against the wall. So if I'm training push, I might do, this is what a workout would look for me on the kind of a pushing day. I'm gonna do uh, suspension training, maybe three reps at grind speed, Okay, I'll then work some limit force elastic, and then I might go into explosive med ball throw. Okay, not rocket science, not hard. Um, you can even work martial arts. I do martial arts a lot, so you know, punching is a form of kind of plyometric pushing, right? Just to get your upper body faster, popping in rhythm with itself, uh, and, and to move more athletically. Okay, don't overcomplicate it. Just go faster. Okay, um, we have. Fifth gear, okay, and this is what I like to, to hit with people. I have a bunch of toys here, a bunch of tools. Most amateurs that I work with have five to 10 miles an hour in them within a week because they don't know how to get to what I call fifth gear. They live their life in third gear. Some of them live in fourth gear. Long drivers, elite athletes, pitchers, they know how to get to fifth gear because they rely on speed. So whether it's uh, some tools from these guys at Mach 3, this is just teaching you how to really whip and generate speed out front. Um, whether it is the super speed training system with this lighter shaft, it's going to trick your body into going faster. These are all designed to try to get your body moving faster so that it feels what fifth gear feels like. Okay, again, you guys all watching this have more speed in you, um, maybe except if you're a long driver because you live in the speed world anyway. You all have more speed in you. It's just a matter of getting your body to know what that feels like. Okay, getting your body to move more athletically so that you can generate more force, more power, and more speed. Okay, um, this is my buddy Ryan Steenberg's device, the Twitch Trainer. Okay, again, this is about teaching your body to snap and teaching your body to operate up and down the kinetic chain efficiently so that it can snap the club, or in this case, this rope, through impact. We want our power to be out in front, and this is teaching kind of that snapping movement. It's not about the guy with the biggest muscles, as you know. You guys probably know a lot of really big guys who can't hit a golf ball far at all. And then you know some really skinny guys who can crank a golf ball. Okay, let's look at Jamie Zadlowski. He's probably 160 pounds soaking wet, but that guy knows how to sequence his body and how to get the club moving efficiently in a way to where he can you know, have 220 mile an hour ball speed. Phenomenal athlete who knows how to move efficiently and move well. And as we get into athleticism in our next section, we're gonna kind of address some of that, okay? But these tools I've got from the Twitch Trainer with Ryan Steenberg to Super Speed to Mach 3, these are all designed to teach your body to move more efficiently and to kind of sequence and get that club moving correctly through impact, okay? So again, power is simply about, you know, taking your strength movements and going faster. Instead of a squat, we're doing a squat jump. Okay, we're adding sprinting. We're adding, uh, you know, rapid chopping movements with medicine balls and, and with bands. Same thing with pushing. And then we're starting to work rotational power through some of these, you know, training with some of these implements like the Mach 3 Super Speed Twitch Trainer and some of these tools. It's about tricking your body and teaching your body to go faster so that when you get that club in your hand during a practice session, you can kind of start practicing what you've been preaching to yourself and your body knows what it feels like to go faster, okay? So again, this has been helpful. Let me know if you have questions, let me know. And then remember, we're giving some drivers away, all right? My new signature model from Crank, we're giving three drivers away at the end of this course, 14 day, 12 video type of course. And uh, so let me know why I should give you one of these drivers, why I should ship it to you. Okay, make sure you're following me and tag a friend.